I'm Ryan Hill, I'm the CTO of Qbraid, and today I'm gonna to show you how to redeem a Qbraid promo code to get Qbraid credits, which can be used to submit quantum jobs through the Amazon Brockett environment on Qbraid to uh, quantum hardware and simulators supported by Amazon Brockett and AWS. So to get started, if you don't already have an account, go to Qbraid.com and sign up for free. And if you do, click sign in, and we'll go to the account page. This is your dashboard. So to redeem a promo code that you might've got at a hackathon or another Qbraid sponsored event, come up to the top right, click on your profile icon, put your account details, and then come down to add an access key. So I've already added the access key that we're gonna to use today and I've been supplied the credits, but if you haven't, then it'll reflect zero credits, but by entering the promo code, your credits will be funded to your account and your account will be granted the permissions that you need to access the Qbraid environment manager. Come back to dashboard and then click launch lab to enter our Jupyter lab slash quantum programming interface. Once your workspace is loaded, come over to the right and open the environment manager sidebar. Click add to view the environments that are available to be installed, find Amazon Brockett and then click install. Each of the environments in this sidebar come with a description, a couple of tags that describe them. Um, and by clicking on more, you can view a pip list of all the packages that have been installed into this Python virtual environment. Uh, you can search for environments by keywords, by name or tags. And by clicking back to browse environments, you can see the environments that have already installed. And here's our Amazon Brockett environment, which is just finished installing. By clicking activate, it'll uh, populate an IPy kernel for the Amazon Brockett environment. And by clicking on this notebook, you will launch um, an instance uh, that can be used to run the Amazon Brockett SDK. Now over here on the left is your uh, file system manager in which I already have a notebook ready uh, that's gonna be used for this tutorial. So by opening this notebook and then coming up here to the top right, I can select the kernel that I want to use and I'll select Python 3 Amazon Brockett. And now the first few lines of this notebook are interfacing actually with the Qbraid CLI. So this is the uh, way through which you're gonna enable and disable uh, Qbraid quantum jobs. So by saying ems list, we'll uh, see that the Amazon Brockett environment has been installed, and then we'll enable quantum jobs with Amazon Brockett. Um, and by doing so, this is basically saying that we don't need any AWS credentials. The Qbraid API is handling all the um, authentication and uh, the purchasing of credits through AWS that are needed to run the quantum jobs. I'll run get credits and see that I have a thousand credits remaining and then go ahead and import Amazon Brockett and create a bell circuit. Now in this next cell, you'll notice that we're just putting in dummy variables here because you don't have to worry about uh, provisioning S3 buckets through Qbraid. Qbraid takes care of that storage um, and uh, kind of other overheads for you. Um, uh, finally, as these cells still continue to run, um, we will instantiate our device-like object through Amazon Brockett, and here we're using the SD1 simu simulator, um, and then we'll run the bell circuit uh, through the dummy folder that we kind of instantiated. And then after that uh, run is complete, we can print our, our results out, and then eventually, once the task completes, we will be able to list the quantum jobs that have been run, list the credits remaining. So as you can see, only 0.06 credits were subtracted for that run. And finally, disable uh, the quantum jobs. Uh, this notebook will be av available on the Qbraid GitHub, which I'll link below. Um, and until then, see you next time.